coming up. Yeah, always had to prove that I was tough enough to do better. Always had a plan that I would level up. Now we don't know no better, so I wrote these love letters to the city. Yeah, yeah, to the city. Yeah, feel, feel like I'm stuck in the trap. Rather be playing the traffic, stuck in the middle of the map. Higher the rent and the taxes. I've been out looking for substance or something to make me feel love and acceptance. Knowing I never had options, the city my only direction. I just wanna run away. Got a dollar and dream. Poverty really be bothering me. Feeling the city keep calling to me. I'm infatuated with the street lights. New faces, new designs. I'm inspired. I never had someone on the inside, so I break the wall to get in right. Never had enough when I was coming up. Uh, always had to prove that I was tough enough to do better Always had a plan that I would level up Now we don't know no better So I wrote these Good morning you guys It is Tuesday And it's right around 8am I woke up a little bit earlier today And I always walk cash down by the water every morning Just because it's so nice and peaceful Such a wonderful way to start my day Poor Cashy boy is in a cone But he's doing well he has a little ear infection because he has allergies, so we're dealing with that and he's getting used to the cone. I'm sad for him, but it's only for a couple days, so it's temporary. But I am just relaxing before I leave for training and I figured I would take you guys through another day in my life. So today is probably just gonna be like a lighter training session. Cash, come here. Come here, baby. Yeah. You hate me giving you your medication. I actually need to give him his medication right now before I leave, but his ears are looking a lot better. He just hates me helping him get better. <laughs> yeah, thank you. But yeah, so just a regular schmegular day for me. My pride, my mind, I've never been better since I told you no to go and so Single 
Is there something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals? Regardless if you have a clinical mental health issue like depression or anxiety, or you just find yourself needing to talk to someone, therapy can give you the tools to approach your life in a different way. That's why I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and accessible. Finding a therapist can be a difficult task, especially if you're limited to the options in your area. BetterHelp is a platform that makes finding a therapist a whole lot easier because it's completely online. By filling out a few questions, BetterHelp can match you to a professional therapist in as little as a few days. Using the link in my description box, you can get 10% off your first month of BetterHelp so you can find and connect with your very own therapist. Even if you don't connect with your first choice, BetterHelp allows you to switch to a new therapist at no additional cost without stressing about insurance or who's in your network. So if you're struggling, consider online therapy at BetterHelp. All right, you guys, I have wonderful news for myself, really. <laughs> but I went down to pick up packages and my nightstand came. I haven't had a nightstand for the first couple weeks I've been in here because um, I, so basically I'm living in team housing, but I just moved from a two bedroom to a one bedroom. So I'm now living by myself, but I wanted to furnish the apartment like with my own furniture and stuff. Whereas when I was in the two bedroom, it was all the furniture that the club provided. So anyway, long story short, that's why I don't have a couch, but I just got an email that my couch is shipping this week. So I should have a couch soon. But I and my night, I mean, not my nightstand, my nightstand is here. And my coffee table also shipped. So that will be the final two touches, but I'm about to build this nightstand because it's not been fun not having a nightstand. I feel like I, nightstands are underrated and they're kind of necessary, especially when I am a person who needs to sleep with a fan. I don't like having my fan in my window so where it's at right now. So anyways, long story short, I'm gonna build this nightstand and then I am going to go get an acai bowl with Alyssa and we're gonna get the bowls to go and take cash to the park. So he should really love that and I will love it too. Well, the dresser is in fact broke. So that's lovely. Um, yeah, this is not good. This is supposed to be just like one piece and it's completely split here. And I don't have any wood glue, so that's fun. Well, the excitement is over everybody. The nightstand is broken. I've been having terrible luck, you guys, with Amazon stuff. Either not getting delivered to the apartments or being broken. I did have good luck with my TV stand and my bar stools, which I love, but I've been waiting for this nightstand to come for too long now. And of course, when it arrives, it's broken. Like, why? Why does this happen to me? so frustrated with Amazon, but I won't stop purchasing stuff from there. So, so yeah, two thumbs up for this one. That's a good boy. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> in it like avocado that's all, I know. <laughs> that's all you know spinach honey, i think yeah spinach honey that's yeah that's all that i know but mm, 
rating? Five. No. Hopefully the toast will be better. Fingers crossed on the toast. Hopefully. The toast looked good. Maybe she just didn't know what she was doing. <laughs> uh, Hopefully my bowl is good. Damn, my tip too. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. <laughs> nice here in Seattle you guys like it's actually life-changing when you see some sun in a city that only wants to rain so taking full advantage of that so yeah now it's 4 it's almost 4 30 and I'm just gonna hang out with cash he's currently satisfied he's been doing so good in his cone you guys he doesn't seem to be bothered he's still playing and is his usual energetic self um, but yeah, we have tomorrow off as well, which is really nice. So I think Alyssa and I are going to go to our little favorite Mexican spot tonight. They have really good, um, really good drinks and really good food. So I think that's the plan. Also, this has been where I've been posted up lately. As you can see, I have no couch. It should be here sometime this week. I'm literally praying on everything. Sometimes I bring a pillow and a blanket down here just because I don't want to be in my room all the time. Um, but yeah, that's been that and it's, we've been making it work. We've been doing, doing the dang thing. up editing my video and I decided to take like a little random drive with cash because his new bed came in and as you can see he's quite comfortable he loves being in the car and I usually have him in the front seat which I know is not safe um, but he was small enough that I could do it or he could sit in my lap and he wouldn't really cause me like any problems but now that he's getting a little bit bigger even though I think he's gonna stay around this size. I wanted to be able to put him in the back seat because I don't want him to be like a hazard or anything. And it's just convenient for him to have his own space back there. So I got this little car hammock, which is so nice because it doesn't mess up my seats and get his hair anywhere. And it covers the sides so like it doesn't scratch up my car, which is really, really nice. Um, and then I ordered him this bed off Chewy and it had really good reviews. And it's taken him all of like a 10 minute drive to be like this so I think it's safe to say the bed was a success and he'll be enjoying car rides in the future but yeah right now I'm just sitting in this park in the parking lot because I just wanted to test out the bed and see if he'd like the ride but it's kind of nice to just drive around a little bit especially because I don't know the area extremely well like if I go in one direction that I haven't been in before I usually end up on an unbeaten path and seeing a whole bunch of random things that I didn't see before. So it's kind of fun and nice to kind of drift out of your usual route and just explore the outdoors out here. So I'm getting used to Seattle. I love it out here. It's been a nice change of pace since Kansas City. And yeah, 
It's been lovely, and Cash is enjoying it too. But it is now right around 6.45, and I'm gonna head back home because Alyssa and I are gonna go get dinner at, I think it's called like Moctezuma's. We went there maybe a couple weeks ago to get some Mexican food, and it was bomb. So we're going back, this will be our second time, and hopefully it lives up to expectation. Because I don't know about you, but have you ever been somewhere that exceeded all expectation, you loved it, and then you go back the second time and it just doesn't hit the same? Anyways, maybe that's just me, but I'm hoping that is not the case with this Mexican place because we really enjoyed it the last time and I'm hoping to enjoy it again. Alright y'all, I am back home. The food was good. It lived up to expectation, but it was a little bit spicier than I remember the last time. Both Liz and I were like, our mouths are kind of on fire, and I didn't remember that the last time, even though I ordered the same exact thing. So. Who knows, maybe the sauce was just extra spicy today, but it was still good nonetheless, and the margaritas were good as well. So, I'm just chilling the rest of the night. It's been a lovely day, and I'm glad I could take you guys along, but yeah. Inspiration, my valid confirmation. 